A man finds himself walking through a dense forest thick with fog and uncertainty. Each step he takes is cautious, hindered by the unseen roots of doubt and the overgrown branches of fear that claw at his clothes, trying to hold him back. He hears a whisper, a voice that seems to come from the fog itself, telling him he can't make it through, that he's not strong enough, smart enough, or simply enough. Okay. This voice, my friends, is what I call the inner enemy. It's a tale as old as time, yet as fresh as the morning dew, and it's a journey we all embark on. Now, you might be wondering, what does a man wandering in a forest have to do with us gathered here today? Well, that forest is a metaphor for the journey we're all on, a journey through the landscapes of our own lives, filled with dreams, aspirations, and yes, a myriad of challenges. The fog and the whisper. There are the doubts, fears, and the negative self-talk we battle with every day, our own personal inner enemies that cloud our vision and whisper words of discouragement in our ears. But here's the thing. Every one of us has the potential to navigate through that forest, to clear the fog, and to silence those whispers. How, you ask? How, you ask? By confronting our inner enemy head on, by recognizing the power that lies within us to overcome these obstacles. This is no small feat, I assure you, but it's within our grasp. The inner enemy can be cunning, always finding new ways to instill doubt. It tells you, you're not gonna make it. You're not good enough, or why even try? It's that voice that tries to convince you to play it safe, to stick to the known path, even if that path leads you away from your dreams and aspirations. It's the voice that fears change, that resists growth, because growth means stepping into the unknown, and the unknown can be terrifying. But here's a secret I've learned. The unknown is also where growth thrives. It's where the seeds of our potential find fertile ground where they can sprout and take root. Defeating this inner enemy doesn't mean never feeling fear or doubt again. It means acknowledging these feelings and moving forward anyway. It's about making a choice, a choice to believe in ourselves, in our capabilities, and in the possibility that we can achieve our dreams, despite what the whispers in the fog might tell us. Okay. You see, the battle with the inner enemy is fought on the grounds of our minds, in the beliefs we hold about ourselves and our potential. It's a battle that requires armor forged from self-belief, determination, and the willingness to embrace change. And just like the man in the forest, we have a choice. We can either succumb to the whispers and let the fog hold us back, or we can push forward step by step until we break through to the other side. As we stand here today on the precipice of transformation, let's make a pact. Let's agree to face our inner enemies, not with fear, but with courage. Let's decide to replace the whispers of doubt with affirmations of our strength and capability. Let's commit to the journey, not just as individuals, but as a collective supporting each other through the fog and the overgrown paths. Examine the nature of this internal enemy in more detail, examine conflict strategies and tools for victory. And through it all, we'll remember the man in the forest pushing forward step by determined step as a reminder that we too can make it through, that we too can defeat our inner enemies. The path may not always be clear and the whispers may not be easily silenced, but with each step we take, we grow stronger, more capable, and ever closer to the life we envision for ourselves. It's a journey worth taking, a battle worth fighting, and a victory within reach. In our journey through life, much like the traveler navigating the dense fog and tangled underbrush of an uncharted forest, we encounter various facets of an adversary not seen but deeply felt. This adversary, this inner enemy, manifests itself in various guises. Fear, procrastination, negativity, doubt, and complacency. Each of these characteristics, while seemingly insubstantial as the morning mist, holds the power to deter us from our path, to dim the light of our aspirations, 
and to lead us into the quagmire of unfulfilled potential. Imagine fear as a thick fog that envelopes the path ahead. It obscures our vision, making the journey seem more perilous than it is, whispering tales of monsters lurking just beyond sight, waiting to pounce on the unwary traveler. Fear paralyzes. It keeps us rooted to the spot, unable to move forward, but also unable to retreat. It is the voice that says, turn back for what lies ahead is unknown and fraught with danger. Procrastination, on the other hand, is the vine that entangles our feet whispering, why rush? The path will still be there tomorrow. It seduces us with the comfort of the familiar, the ease of the now, and in doing so stealthily steals our most precious resource, time. It's the thief of dreams, the merchant of someday, selling us the illusion of infinite tomorrows. Negativity, the shadow that darkens the landscape, painting everything in hues of failure and despair. It feeds on past regrets, on words of discouragement spoken by ourselves and others, growing into a canopy so dense that it blocks out the light of positivity. Okay, it transforms challenges into insurmountable obstacles and opportunities into pitfalls. Doubt is the path that forks and meanders, leading us in circles. It questions every decision, every step taken. Are you sure this is the right way? Are you certain you can make it? Doubt sows the seeds of indecision, causing us to question our capabilities, our worth, and our very purpose. Okay, and then there's complacency the moss-covered bench that invites us to rest, to say, this is far enough. Why strive for more when you can be comfortable here? It lulls us into a false sense of satisfaction, whispering that mediocrity is sufficient, that the view from the halfway point is good enough, that the dreams of youth are just fanciful illusions best left behind. Together, these traits form the inner enemy, a formidable foe that resides within the confines of our own minds. Its impact is profound, for in listening to its siren song, we risk everything. The cost of heeding the inner enemy is measured not in what we have lost, but in what we fail to gain. The dreams we abandon along the way, the opportunities we let slip through our fingers like grains of sand, the potential that withers in the shadow of our fears and doubts. Consider the story of a young artist gifted with talent and vision, yet haunted by the whisperings of the inner enemy. Fear tells him his art will never be good enough. Doubt questions his creativity. Negativity darkens his canvas. Procrastination delays his work. And complacency convinces him that his current achievements are sufficient. Years pass, and the gallery of his mind remains filled with blank canvases the masterpieces of his potential left uncreated. The tragedy lies, not in the rejection he feared, but in the self-imposed silence of his voice, the withdrawal of his contribution to the world's tapestry of beauty. Or imagine an entrepreneur brimming with ideas that could revolutionize the way we live, work, and interact. Yet at every step, the inner enemy weaves its deceptive web. Fear of failure, of ridicule, of financial ruin, keeps the door of opportunity firmly closed. Doubt undermines confidence, negativity clouds vision, procrastination delays action, and complacency whispers that the status quo is enough. In the end, the world remains unchanged, for the ideas that could have sparked a revolution lie dormant, suffocated by the inner enemy. The true tragedy of succumbing to the inner enemy is not in the missteps we make but in the realization that our journey has been diminished, our story left untold, our song unsung. The cost is measured in this what ifs, the might have beens, the realization that the only thing standing between us and our greatest life is, was and always will be ourselves. But take heart, for this is not where our story ends. It is merely the backdrop against which the battle is set. A battle in which victory is not only possible, but promised to those who dare to confront their inner enemy. As we turn the page, 
We shall see that within us lies, not just the potential for defeat, but also the seeds of victory, the tools with which to overcome, and the strategies to turn the tide in the war against the foe within. As we traverse the landscape of our own lives, confronting the inner enemy with its myriad faces of fear, doubt, and complacency, we arrive at a crossroads. Here the path diverges, offering us a choice. One road meanders through the valley of the status quo, while the other climbs towards the peaks of our potential. To embark upon the ascent requires more than mere desire. It demands a shift in philosophy and mindset, a recalibration of our inner compass towards growth and achievement. Consider for a moment the power of personal philosophy, the bedrock upon which our thoughts, actions, and reactions are founded. It is the lens through which we view the world, the filter that colors our every experience. A strong personal philosophy acts not just as a shield against the inner enemy, but as a sword with which to vanquish it. It is born of introspection and reflection, of a willingness to ask ourselves the hard questions. What do I believe? Why do I believe it? And how do these beliefs shape my reality? The transformation begins in the fertile soil of the mind where the seeds of change are sown. To cultivate a mindset of growth and resilience, we must first uproot the weeds of negativity and doubt. This is no small task, for they are tenacious, their roots deep and entangled. Yet, it is within our power to clear the ground, to choose thoughts that nourish and sustain us. We must become vigilant gardeners of our minds, tending to our thoughts with care, pruning away the harmful and cultivating the healthy. Armed with a strong personal philosophy, we turn our gaze to the horizon, to the future we wish to create. Here lies the importance of setting clear, compelling goals. They are the beacons that guide us through the fog of uncertainty, the markers that chart our progress. Without them, we are adrift subject to the whims of circumstance and the pull of the inner enemy's persuasive whispers. Imagine setting sail on the vast ocean of possibility without a map or compass. How easy it would be to lose our way, to be tossed about by the storms of life, never reaching our intended destination. Goals provide us with direction, with a purpose that propels us forward. They are the answer to the siren song of procrastination the antidote to the poison of complacency. Yet setting goals is but the first step. To truly defeat the inner enemy, we must also possess a vision for the future, a vivid, compelling image of what we aspire to achieve. This vision serves as a constant reminder of why we embark on this journey, of why we endure the trials and tribulations that inevitably arise. It is the fuel that powers our determination, the light that guides us through the darkest nights. I urge you then to not just think about your goals and dreams, but to commit them to paper. Write them down. Breathe life into them with your words. For in doing so, you transform them from ethereal thoughts to tangible targets. You create a contract with yourself, a promise to pursue your vision with unwavering dedication. Yet let us not fall to the trap of believing that the mere act of setting goals is enough. They must be nurtured, pursued with a persistence that borders on obsession. It requires daily action, small steps taken consistently over time. Remember, the grandest tree once sprouted from the smallest seed. So too will your goals grow branching out in ways you may not expect bearing fruit that surpasses even your wildest dreams. In this endeavor, let us also recognize the importance of flexibility, for the path to our goals is rarely straight. It wins and twists, presenting obstacles that test our resolve. The inner enemy will seize upon every setback, every detour, as evidence of our unworthiness. Yet it is in these moments that our philosophy and mindset reveal their true power. They allow us to adapt, to see beyond the immediate to the potential that lies ahead. As we journey forward, 
let us carry with us the knowledge that defeating the inner enemy is not a one-time battle, but a continuous struggle. It is fought in the quiet moments of decision, in the spaces between action and inact. It is a war waged, not on the battlefields of the external world, but within the confines of our own minds. And so, my friends, as we stand at this crossroad, let us choose the path of growth, of potential, of greatness. Let us arm ourselves with a philosophy and mindset rooted in positivity and resilience. Let us set our goals with clarity and pursue them with a passion that burns brighter than the doubts and fears that seek to derail us. For in doing so, we do not just defeat the inner enemy. We transcend it, stepping into the fullness of our potential, into the life that awaits us beyond the fog. The journey does not end here with the setting of goals and the crafting of visions. No, it is but the beginning. For beyond the horizon lies a landscape rich with opportunity, a world waiting to be shaped by our actions, our decisions, our resolve. Not as prisoners of the past or victims of the present, but as architects of our future, the path of personal growth and confrontation with our inner enemy, let us now turn our attention to the arsenal at our disposal, the tools for victory that are essential in this ongoing battle. These tools are not forged of steel, nor hewn from stone, but are instead comprised of the principles of discipline, consistency, learning, and growth. They are the silent warriors in our fight against the inner enemy, the unseen forces that propel us towards our goals and dreams. Just did the role of discipline in this battle? Discipline, in its essence, is the bridge between goals and accomplishment, a bridge built not with grand, sweeping actions, but with small, daily disciplines. It's akin to the planting of a garden. You don't plant seeds today and expect a harvest tomorrow. No, it is the consistent daily care. Watering, weeding, nurturing, that leads to a bountiful harvest over time. Similarly, the discipline of saving a small portion of your earnings each day may seem inconsequential in the moment, yet over time, it leads to a wealth of financial security and independence. Discipline, then, is the quiet, persistent hum of effort that, though often overlooked, is the heartbeat of success. Consistency, its close companion, ensures that the drumbeat of discipline does not falter. To be consistent means to show up day after day, committed to the task at hand, regardless of the whims of emotion or the allure of distraction. It is the steadfast dedication to our chosen path that carries us through the storms of doubt and the deserts of discouragement. Just as the consistent flow of water can, over time, wear away the hardest stone, so too can the consistent application of effort lead to significant, life-altering results. Yet what are discipline and consistency without a direction, without a purpose? This is where learning and growth enter the fray, serving as the compass and map that guide our efforts. The pursuit of constant learning, the insatiable hunger for knowledge, is what illuminates the path ahead, revealing both the pitfalls to avoid and the opportunities to seize. It is through learning that we arm ourselves with the strategies and insights necessary to outmaneuver the inner enemy, to turn its whispers of doubt into rallying cries of determination. The world around us is a vast university, its lessons boundless, its teachers myriad. Every book, every seminar, every mentor brings with it the potential to change our lives, to reshape our destiny by embracing a mindset of lifelong learning. We ensure that our arsenal against the inner enemy is ever expanding, ever evolving. We become students, not just of our craft or profession, but of life itself, seeking wisdom in everything from the falling leaf to the rising sun, from the pages of a book to the words of a friend. Let us not underestimate the power of mentorship in this journey of learning and growth. To find a mentor, is to connect with someone who has walked the path before us, who has faced the inner enemy and emerged victorious.
They are the guides who can help us navigate the terrain of our own battles, offering insights gleaned from experience and wisdom forged in the fires of adversity. Their guidance can be a beacon of light in our darkest moments, a source of strength when our own falters. So how do we begin to wield these tools of discipline, consistency, learning, and growth? It starts with a commitment, a decision to prioritize our personal development above all else. It requires setting aside time each day for self-improvement, whether through reading, reflection, or the pursuit of new experiences. It demands that we step out of our comfort zones to challenge the status quo of our own. Yet remember, armed with our tools for victory, that the path will not always be easy. There will be days when the inner enemy seems insurmountable, when our discipline wavers and our consistency falters. In these moments, let us lean on our commitment to learning and growth, drawing strength from the knowledge that every setback is but a lesson, every failure a stepping stone on the road to success. As we forge ahead, let us hold fast to the belief that the battle against the inner enemy is not only winnable, but that victory brings with it a reward far greater than any trophy or accolade, the reward of becoming the fullest, truest version of ourselves with discipline and consistency as our allies, with learning and growth as our guides. We step into the arena, ready to face whatever challenges come our way, secure in the knowledge that we are equipped, empowered, and above all, never alone in this fight. Let us do so with the unwavering conviction that the tools for victory are within our grasp, that the path to defeating our inner enemy is laid out before us. The journey continues, and with each step, we grow stronger, more resilient, and more capable crafting the life of our dreams. You us embrace the journey, not as a burden, but as the greatest adventure of our lives, an opportunity to rise above, to conquer, and to thrive. In the grand tapestry of life, where the threads of our experiences, choices, actions intertwine to create the picture of our existence, the importance of reflection and adaptation cannot be overstated. As we navigate the complexities of our journey, it is crucial to pause, to look back on the path we've traveled, not with regret or self-reproach, but with a keen eye for learning and a heart open to growth. This process of reflection is akin to the gardener who surveys his garden at the end of a season, noting what blossomed, what withered, and planting the next season's plantings with the wisdom of experience. Reflection allows us to acknowledge our successes and to face our failures with courage and it is in the quiet moments of contemplation that we can truly see the value of every step taken, every decision made, failures, setbacks, and obstacles. Once perceived as insurmountable and fraught with frustration, transform under the light of reflection into invaluable lessons, guiding us towards a better, more informed path forward. They are not the end of the road, but signposts directing us to new avenues of exploration and opportunity. Adaptation, then, becomes our compass in this uncharted territory. It is the willingness to adjust our sails when the winds of life shift, to change course when the current path leads us away from our desired destination. It is recognizing that the strategy that brought us success in one season of life may not serve us in the next that growth requires not just strength and perseverance, but flexibility and resilience. Adaptation is the skill of the navigator who, faced with a storm, finds a new way to safe harbor, undeterred by the change in plans. As we embark on this continuous cycle of reflection and adaptation, let us do so with a spirit of gratitude. Gratitude for the journey itself, for the richness of experience it brings, for the people we meet along the way who touch our lives and leave their mark on our hearts? Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more, transforming ordinary moments into blessings and lessons, into gifts. It is the soil in which joy and contentment flourish, the antidote to envy and greed. 
But gratitude is not just a passive state of mind. It is a catalyst for action, for contribution. The true measure of our success is not found in the accumulation of wealth, accolades or achievements, but in the impact we have on the lives of others. Contribution is the echo of our actions in the world, the ripples that spread from every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every gesture of support. It is in giving that we receive, in lifting others that we rise to contribute to the success of others, to invest in their dreams and aspirations as if they were our own is perhaps the most potent weapon in our arsenal against the inner enemy. It shifts the focus from the self to the collective, from what we can take to what we can give. In doing so, it diminishes the power of fear, doubt, and complacency, for it is difficult to entertain these shadows when our hands and hearts are full with the work of uplifting others. And so, as we stand at the threshold of tomorrow, let us carry forward the tools of discipline, consistency, learning, and growth. Let us commit to a practice of regular reflection and embrace the necessity of adaptation. But above all, let us cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for the journey and a steadfast dedication to contribution. For in the end, when the final threads of our story are woven into the tapestry of time, let it be said that we live not just for ourselves, but for the betterment of others, that we face the inner enemy and emerged victorious, not by defeating it in battle, but by rendering it irrelevant. Through reflection, adaptation, gratitude, and contribution, we transcend the limitations of the self and touch the boundless potential of the human spirit. This, my friends, is the essence of true success, the pinnacle of human achievement. It is a success that is sustained not by the accolades we collect, but by the lives we touch, the difference we make, the legacy we leave behind. Let this be our guiding light, our North Star, as we navigate the journey of life ever onwards, ever upwards. In our time together, we've traversed the landscape of personal challenge and growth, confronting the inner enemies that stand between us and the full expression of our potential. We've explored the significance of discipline and consistency, the cornerstone of all achievement. We've delved into the power of lifelong learning and the importance of personal growth, tools that empower us to rise above the whispers of doubt and fear. With reflection and adaptation as our guides, we've seen how setbacks can become stepping stones to greater success. And through gratitude and contribution, We've discovered the true essence of fulfillment lies, not just in achieving for ourselves, but in uplifting those around us. Now, as we stand on the brink of a new day, the path ahead is clear. The journey forward is ours to take, armed with the knowledge that within us lies an untapped reservoir of strength, resilience, and capability. The time for action is now, not tomorrow, not next week, but this very moment. Let this moment be the one where you decide that nothing will hold you back. Let it be the moment you choose to step boldly into the future you deserve to craft a life of purpose and passion. Remember, the only limits that exist are the ones we place upon ourselves. So I urge you, let go of hesitation. Embrace the possibility of what can be. The world is waiting for your unique gifts, your vision, your contribution. Stand tall, press forward, and never forget that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today, for in the pursuit of our dreams and the overcoming of our inner enemies, we do not just find success, we find ourselves. Go forth and make your life a masterpiece.